fine, and you? I'm Hello. Fine. Hello. Hello. How are you? How are you, teacher? I don't okay. work in, in my cell phone. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everybody. How are you? I'm fine, teacher. Good, teacher. Excellent. How I'm was okay, the week? Teacher. It is not Friday yet, but how was the week? <laughs> was it busy? Mm. Was it stressful? Was it easy? How was the, the, the week? I feel a little bit short. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Just short. Yeah, the week, all the days go fast, right? Yeah, I know. January was very slow, right? Yes. January was very slow. <laughs> but now February, it's moving faster. <laughs> yes, it's moving faster, right? Yeah, yeah. right now it's uh, February the 6th. Oh, wow. Yeah. And then March, <laughs> and then vacations. Yes, the best <laughs> part of the year, right? Yeah, vacations. the best part of the year, vacations. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What did you do your last vacations with me? In that moment, I don't have any plans for vacation. Uh huh. So, what do you do? Or what did mm. you do on your last vacations? In the last vacation, mm -hmm. uh, it's like a uh, visit different place and member of family mm -hmm. because uh, that, okay. mm -hmm. that the time is um, a long time. But mm -hmm. the occupation, uh, some ones a member of family only at the end of the year. I have a time to see them, yes. Oh, okay, yeah, okay, good. How many days do you usually have as a vacation? In my case, sometimes I have a week of vacation. What about you? Uh, uh, it depends. For example, in Christmas, uh -huh. uh, from 20, December 20 mm -hmm. to January 2nd. Ah, okay. Yeah, for Christmas, I have the same. Uh -huh. For Christmas, more, I have the same. More, la more time, more free time. Yeah, it is more free time, but for Holy Week, Semana Santa, okay. For Holy it's Week, only, I have I only three or four days. Ah, okay. Yeah, three days, yeah. Um, in my case, I have I have a week, okay. Yeah, we have a little bit more. Very nice. Yeah, what about you, Pedro? How many days do you have of vacations when you have vacations? Vacation, um, I, I uh, make the change activities, for example, to um, pixel in different uh, uh, um, my home and time or um, to pick uh, the cars or cleaning. Um, yeah, I think we do we do a lot of cleaning. Changing. We have vacations. <laughs> mm -hmm. Or or visit the parents. And, yeah. Okay. And to change vacation, for example, uh, all the family to to uh, so let me see. Um, uh, Okay, in, in, in to travel uh, and travel in, in Santana and the mountain restaurant lake or uh, only the uh, in the uh, cancha in the soccer field on the soccer field on the basketball field too. field uh huh practice and the practice to different uh, sports, sports. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay that's a good time 
Hello, Saida. Hello, Ivania. How are you? <coughs> Hello, teacher. Fine. Excellent. We're talking about vacations, that the activities that you do on vacation. So the activities that you did uh, your last vacations. So let's see, Ivania, what did you do on your last vacations? We were discussing that, for example, sometimes we have, in my case, I have one week. And I was telling me, and Jose also was telling me that they have like three or four days. What about you, Ivani? Uh, okay. In my holidays, uh, my mom prepared a trip, a different uh, country. Uh -huh. The last holidays, a uh, visit uh, Honduras. Ah, uh, you visited uh, Honduras. Excellent. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh, because uh, she liked it, uh, to visit different countries on beach, parks, uh, mm, I don't know, new or mm, how do you say conoce? Uh, meet? Uh, meet, uh, meet different culture. Ah, okay. You met, you met a different culture. Uh -huh. Yes, um, okay. and now on I that, know I know that in Copan there is a park of birds. You have yes. like ah, did you go? No, no, ah. I I don't. This year uh -huh. uh, she wanted, but my brother uh, trip to Costa Rica. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. And she to company, to company. Mm -hmm. She went with him. Uh -huh. She went to the gym with with her with him. Okay, so maybe in another time, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. And finally, Saida. Hi, Saida. Hi, teacher. How is everything? It's okay. Excellent. Where do you go when you go when you go on vacations? Mm. Only I went to the beach and visited uh -huh. my family. <laughs> I love okay. beach. Okay. Do they live in the in the or do they live uh, next to the beach or near the beach? Yes, La Libertad. Ah, okay, nice, nice. That's why you 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 like to go there, right? <laughs> yes, I love Excellent. it. Okay, perfect. All right, thank you guys. Uh, let's see. Um, thank you so much for uh, being in this class. Welcome back, okay? And uh, we will continue practicing what we learned yesterday, okay? So uh, on yesterday's class, we were learning how to give directions, okay? And um, we were using some uh, vocabulary for you for doing this. First of all, we said, or we did a practice with there is and there are, okay? We need to remember these two, there is and there are. And we say that there is is for singular and there, and there are is for plural, okay? And you were describing some things that you have in your neighborhood, okay? In your community, in your neighborhood, okay? So like in my case, uh, I have, uh, there is an academy. There are mini stores, there is a cafeteria, okay? Uh, so you can describe the different places that you have <laughs> in your community or in your neighborhood, okay? There are different places. Also, we were making questions using is there and are there, okay? Also, we learned how to use one and some. We say that one is for uh, singular. And I can say there is one restaurant. Oh, there is a restaurant, okay, which is the other option. Also, uh, we use some with plurals, okay, some with plurals. And the answers are very short. Yes, there is. No, there isn't, okay. So I'm going to practice this with you so that we can see if you remember, okay. And by the way, when I, uh, when I say any, remember that that is... Uh, that is a question for plural, okay? Are there any? Okay. And then if it's singular, you can say, yes, teacher, there are. 
there is one pupusaria, okay? There is one pupusaria. So I'm gonna ask one question to you. Let me see. I'm gonna put this over here in the middle. Okay, perfect. Let's see, Anna. Let's see. Okay. Um, is there a, um, is there a gym in your neighborhood? Yes, there are some gyms in my community. Okay, perfect, perfect. Okay. The question was using is there, okay? And you say, yes, there is. And then the answer is in plural because there is not one, okay? There are some, okay? There are some. Perfect. Let's see. Pedro, um, is there a, a swimming pool in your neighborhood? No, there aren't. No, there isn't. Excellent. Okay, now there is. No, there isn't. Mm -hmm. No, there isn't. Perfect. Uh, let's see, Ivania. Mm, is there a gas station in your neighborhood? No, oh, there isn't. No, there isn't. Perfect. Okay, perfect. Let's see, Saida. Uh, let's see, are there any churches in your neighborhood? Yes, there are. Okay, perfect. Okay, yes, there are. And then you can say there are some churches in my neighborhood. Okay, perfect. Mm -hmm. And finally, um, we have Josue. Let's see, Josue. Um, is there a discotheque in your community or in your neighborhood? No, there is, teacher. There isn't, okay. But you want. <laughs> <laughs> <Someday>. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't. You don't dance. I don't. Yeah, I don't. Come I on. don't. You can do dance. it. I have two feet left. <laughs> yeah. Two left feet. <laughs> two left feet. Mm -hmm. Yes. But you can dance a cumbia. To dance a cumbia is very easy. <laughs> ah yes, it's only three, <laughs> three, three steps. steps. Uh -huh. yeah. Three steps. <laughs> three basic steps. <laughs> yes. All right. Okay, let's see. Uh, also, we were learning some prepositions, okay? And uh, we're going to, I'm going to repeat them just in case you forget uh, what the pronunciation is. So the first one is on, okay? Remember, we're going to use on, we're going to use on for the names of the streets, okay? For example, on Second Avenue, okay? on Second Avenue or on Amarillo Street, on Florence Street, on First Avenue, okay? I'm going to say the name of the, uh, of the street, okay, on. The next one, across from, across from, okay? That means that it's an, in the other side of the street, okay? For example, the train station is, across from the park, okay? Across from the park, okay? So basically, is at the other side of the street, okay? Another one that is very similar to across from is in front of, okay? In front of, okay? In in front front. of. Mm -hmm. The next one uh, is next to, okay? Next to, for example, uh, the nail salon is next to, the hair salon, okay? Next to, okay, next to. The next one, I said that we have two pronunciations for this. Who remembers uh, what the pronunciation behind. is? Behind is one and the other one? Across. Oh. We have behind and what is the other pronunciation? Oh. This? Uh -huh. Um, behind. Behind. behind 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 excellent okay so we have behind or behind okay behind in this case it is the same word we have only two pronunciations that are different okay but it's the same meaning and the same uh, the same word okay the next one is between 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 for example, the bank is between the supermarket and the gas station. Okay. Also, 
Also, uh, we can mention that, for example, uh, one place is uh, between two streets, okay? Between two streets. For example, the park is between Florence and Yosemite Street, okay? I can say uh, two names of streets, okay? In order to say between. Also, I have on the corner of, okay? On the corner of, and I can say two streets in this case. For example, the nail salon is on the corner of Amarillo Street and Third Avenue. Okay, so it is in the corner of, okay, and I say the two streets. The next one was in the middle of the block. Okay, in the middle of the block. We said that block is a cuadra. Okay. So in the middle of the block means in the center, okay? In the center of the block, okay? Also, we were saying close to and near, okay? Those are synonyms. For example, I can say uh, the nail salon is near the hair salon, or the nail salon is close to the hair salon, okay? It is close to, it is near, okay, near, that is the correct pronunciation. And finally, around the corner, okay, around the corner. So, remember this because we're going to use it right now, okay? So I am going to pronounce the words one more time so that you have them in your mind or you can repeat after me, okay? So it's on, across from. Um. Across from. Next to. Next, next to. In front of. In front of. Behind. 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 <coughs> behind. On the corner of. On corner On of. On the corner of. In the middle of the block. In the middle, in the middle of, the of the block. Close to. Close, close to. to. Near. 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 Around the corner. Around the corner. Around, Around the, the corner. corner. Okay, perfect. Okay, <coughs> now we're going to do another example over here. So, I have this map and I have different uh, and I have different places, okay? So, I'm going to tell you one day, okay? Over here it says you are here, okay? But uh, we're not going to pay attention to this, okay? No le pongamos atención a esto, porque si no se nos va a ser más difícil, okay? Solo tenemos que eh, usar on, between, next to, okay? Across from, okay? Uh, we're going to use those ones, all right? For example, uh, let me see, Josue, where is, uh, let me see, where is the park? Can you tell me? Where the is park. the park? Uh -huh. Okay, the park is um, on the Maple Street. Okay, it's on Maple Street, yeah. uh -huh. perfect, okay. Yeah. That can be one, okay, that can be one example, thank you. Let's see, Pedro. Um, let's see, where is the bank, Pedro? The bank. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, the bank is no. The bank on Maple Street and from off grocery store. Okay, perfect. The bank is on Maple Street. And the bank is in front of the grocery store. Okay, perfect. Let's see, Anna. Anna. Okay. Uh, where is the music music store? The music store. Uh, there uh, is between two newsstand mm -hmm. and payphone. Okay, perfect. Okay. 
uh, the music store is between the news stand and the payphone. Okay, perfect. Um, let's see, Saida. Saida, let's see. Uh, where is the bookstore? I is next to Chinese restaurant. Okay. No, no, no. Sí. Yeah. yeah, you can say that. It is next to the Chinese restaurant. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. Um, let's see. Ivania, where is the where is the Italian restaurant? Um, the Italian restaurant is on the corner to Davis Street, uh, Main Street. Perfect, okay. Mm -hmm. The Italian restaurant is on the corner of Davis Street and Main Street, okay? Perfect. Let's see, one more time, second round. Um, I'm going to have Pedro again, Pedro. Um, where yeah. is the movie theater? Movie theater. Okay. The movie theater uh, is on uh, Davis Street and in front of the newsstand. Perfect. Okay. The movie theater is on Davis Street in front of the newsstand. Perfect. Okay, perfect. Let's see. Anna. Let's see, Anna, where is the bus stop? The bus stop. Uh, the bus stop is on Main Street mm -hmm. in uh, front of book bookstore. Okay, yeah. Okay, the bus stop is on Main Street in front of the bookstore, okay? Or you can say also across from, okay? Across from the bookstore, okay? Perfect. Okay. Let's see, Saida, one more time. Um, where is the parking lot? Ah, uh, parking lot. It is across from drugstore. It is across from the drugstore, okay? Perfect, okay? Uh, what is a drugstore, people? A pharmacia. A pharmacia, okay. Drugstore, okay. Pharmacy. A pharmacy, okay. A drugstore, a pharmacy. Yeah, it's the same thing. Okay, thank you. Let's see, Ivania. Um, where is um, where is the mailbox? Where is the mailbox? Okay, main block. Is in on block on block uh, to Italian restaurant on post office. Ah, okay. It is in the middle of the block. Okay, it is in the middle of the block uh, between the Italian restaurant and post office. Perfect. And finally, Josue. Last one. What? Uh, where is the public restroom? Public restaurants. Okay. The public restaurant is uh, ne uh, next to the drugstore. Mm -hmm. And this is the on the main street. Excellent. Okay. Excellent. So the public restroom is next to the drugstore on Main Street. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. So you see, in this case, it is very easy. Okay. You just need to remember the propositions and then the rest is very easy, okay? Um, do you have any questions about this? No? Any new vocabulary? No? All right. So, let's no. move on, okay? okay? Yes, tell me, Pedro. Uh, it's in the in the zone. Uh, for example, uh, I I could say in, in this case uh, to block 
uh, go ahead and uh, in the left on the right is 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 correct. Uh, yeah, it is also correct to say that. For example, if I am here and I want to go to the Chinese restaurant. I need to say, okay, uh, go up Main Street, then turn left. The Chinese restaurant is between the bank and the bookstore, okay? So yeah, I can say that, okay? I can say that. However, that is a little bit uh, complicated. Um, you need to know uh, more directions like turn left, turn right, take the first one to the left, take the first one to the right, okay? so. I think it's easier in this way, and you have an exercise like this in the in the okay, in the platform. Okay, you don't have like go turn left, turn right, take the first one to the left, or things like those. Uh, you have it in an easier way like this. Okay, so you just need to remember the prepositions in this case. Uh -huh. But yeah, you can say uh, behind or take the second uh, take the second to the left turn left, turn right, okay, go ahead or go straight, okay. We have other phrases for uh, using in this case, okay. But this is like the basic. Thank you. Yeah, probably in another module, uh, you are going to practice that one, okay. So yeah, at least in this one, it is, uh, it is more important to know the prepositions only. Mm -hmm. All right. So I have a lot of, uh, right. another, another conversation over here. We're going to practice this before continuing with the class, okay? So the conversation says it's pretty safe, okay? Let's listen, please. And then I'm going to have uh, two people practicing this with me. So um, how do you like your new apartment? I love it. It's downtown, so it is very convenient. Downtown, is there much noise? Oh no, there isn't any. I live on the fifth on the fifth floor. How many restaurants are there near your place? A lot. In fact, there is an excellent Korean place just around the corner. What about parking? Well, there aren't many parking garage garages, but I usually find a place on the street. Is there much crime? No, it's pretty safe. Um, hold on, that's my car alarm. I'll call you later, okay? I'll call you back later, okay? So, do you see any new word? Do you see any new word, a word that you don't know? Hold on. Hold on, it's like, okay, relax, okay? Take it easy, mm. okay? Or, or wait, wait, okay? Hold on, wait, mm -hmm. okay? So she's very, yeah, it's pretty safe. And then the car is like, neck, neck, okay, like someone is doing something to her car. So it's like, eh, wait, that's my car alarm, okay? <laughs> okay, I'll call you back later. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh -huh. yeah, she's like, yeah, don't worry. <laughs> yeah, but it's, it's not that safe, okay? Um, another word? Do you know the meaning of downtown? Um, yeah. Downtown. Downtown. It's the center of city. Yeah, the center of the city. Uh huh. The center of the city. Perfect. Kappa. Yeah. Those are the uh. That's those are the only ones that I can that I that I was checking. Right. So yeah. let's see. Um, Josue, you're going to be Nick. Okay. And Anna, you're right. going to be Pam. Okay. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's start. How do you like your new apartment? I love it. It's downtown, so it's very convenient. Downtown? Is there much noise? Oh no. There there isn't any. I live on the fifth floor. Oh. How many restaurants are there near to your place? A lot. In fact. There is an excellent Korean place just around the corner. What about parking? Well, there aren't many parking garages, but I usually find a place on the street. Is there much crime? No, 
it's pretty safe. Hold on. That's my car alarm. I will call you back later. All right. Excellent. Thank you. Nice. Let's see. Um, uh, Pedro, you are going to be Nick. Okay. Nick. And Ivania, you are Pam. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's do it. How do you like your new apartment? I love it. It's downtown, so it's very convenient. Downtown. Is there much noise? Oh no, there isn't any. any. I live on 50th floor. How many restaurants are there near your place? A lot. In fact, there is an excellent Korean place just around the corner. What about parking? Well, there are many parking garages, but I usually find a place on the street. Is there much crime? No, it's it's very safe. How long does my car alarm? I will call you back later. All right, perfect, perfect. Okay, and the last one, teacher, you are Nick, <laughs> and Saida, <laughs> you are Pam. Okay. Okay. Uh, how how do you like your new apartment? I love it. It's downtown. So it's very convenient. Downtown? Is there much noise? Oh no, there isn't. There isn't any. I live on the fifth floor. How many restaurants are there near your place? A lot. In fact, there's an excellent Korean place just around the corner. What about parking? Well, there aren't many parking garages but I usually find a place on the street. Is there much crime? No, it's pretty safe. Hold on, that's my car alarm. I call you back later. All right, excellent, okay, excellent. So everybody repeat, uh, convenient. 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 Noise. No. Noise. Noise. Convenient. Noise. Mm -hmm. What is the meaning of noise? Noise. Ruido. Ruido. Okay, ruido. Okay, ruido. Is there much noise? Hay mucho ruido. Okay. Is there much noise? Um, let's see. Yeah, that's the only one that I could hear. Ah, and crime. What's the meaning of crime? Crime. Crime. Mm -hmm. Crime. Okay, that's that's very simple. That's very similar to Spanish, okay? So, uh, today we're going to see quantifiers, okay? I think you maybe probably have seen this with food and vegetables, okay? But right now we're going to talk about a city, okay? We're going to see about the city. For example, we have countable nouns and uncountable nouns uh, relating, uh, related to food. Can you tell me some ca countable nouns with food? Eh. Many? Mm -hmm. No, but, but the, tell me the food or tell me the fruit or the vegetable. Uh -huh, that is uh, for example, the fruit, uh -huh. apples and apple, orange. Apple, oranges, okay, they are countable. What about uncountable food? For example, milk, juice, milk. milk. Okay, milk, okay. juice, water, okay. Yeah, we have uh, those things that we cannot count. So the same happens with um, with uh, things in a city, okay? The same thing happens. We just need to think, okay, can I count this or it's impossible to count it, okay? So I have a couple of examples here, okay? So remember countable nouns, I can say one, two, three, four, five. In the case of uncountable nouns, I cannot say one, two, three, okay? It's impossible, okay? It's impossible. And countable nouns can be singular and plural. And in the case of uncountable, they are going to be always singular, okay? Because we could say, uh, we cannot say two, okay? 
we can't say to, so always singular, okay? Always singular. And we're going to see some examples. Let's see. The first one, restaurants, okay? We can say one restaurant, five restaurants, 11 restaurants, okay? But what about crime? I cannot say one crime, two crimes, uh, four crimes. Maybe in Spanish, maybe in Spanish, uh, that is possible. However, in English, that is impossible, okay? In English, we cannot make crime in plural, okay? Crime, uh, most of the time, is not plural. Also, we have another example, houses, okay? You know, we have a lot of houses, okay, houses. But what about traffic? I cannot say one traffic, two traffics, three traffics, okay? That is impossible. So in this case, uh, traffic is uncountable, okay? The next one, cars, okay? And then I have noise. One noise, two noise, three noises. Maybe in Spanish it's possible, okay? But even in English, that's not impossible, okay? Buildings, what's the meaning of buildings? Edificios. Okay, we have like, for example, uh, El Pedregal next to Multiplaza, okay, that is a building, that is a big building. Uh, also, we have hotels that are very tall, okay? They are buildings, okay? Even Fiscalía, okay, you see, uh, Fiscalía General de la República, you have, you, they have a big building, okay, a tall building. So that's the meaning of building. Then we have pollution. What is pollution? What do you think? Pollution. Contamination. Contamination, exactly, okay. Pollution, okay. Pollution, that's a correct pronunciation. Pollution, okay. Pollution. So we have this countable and uncountable nouns. Can you think of other uh, uncountable nouns that we have according to the city? Okay, according to the city, not fruits, not vegetables, according to the city. Mm -hmm. Maybe if you have it in Spanish, you can say it in Spanish and we can see what the, what the uh, English version is. Mm -hmm. Parking. Streets. Streets. Okay, yeah, streets. That's the one that you were telling me, right? Streets. Mm -hmm. Okay. What about uncountable? The start. What is it? The stars. The stars. The like stars. The one in the sky. <laughs> Mm -hmm. the yeah, to... yeah, but we're talking about a city. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, uh, smoke, for example. A smoke. Smoke. Uh -huh. yes. smoke. Okay. Yeah. Low. For example, you see the buses. Okay, and they throw a lot of black smoke. Okay. Yeah, that's also possible. Okay. But yeah. Love. 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 <laughs> yes. <laughs> Um, yeah, but I don't think we have love in a city. <laughs> yeah. That, okay. That similar the 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 soundtrack uh, dust in the wind in the wind. Uh, dust in, the... dust in the wind. Ah, dust. Yeah, that's pretty <laughs> possible. Okay. Dust. Yeah, dust. Okay. <laughs> For example, if you live in the countryside, if if you live in a in a canton, okay, countryside, maybe there is a lot of dust. Okay. <laughs> Polvo, okay. Water. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we can have water. Oh, water. Uh -huh. And I'm going to have, let's water. see, cafeterias over here, okay? Just to have more examples. Okay? So those are some examples of countable and uncountable nouns in a city, okay? In a city. So now we're going to see how to use some quantifiers. First of all, we have these two examples, okay? Many and much. You know what many is, right? That's very simple. However, when we, when we want to know about a, a big quantity, but for example, crime or traffic, we need to say much, okay? We don't say many. For example, in my neighborhood, 
Okay. There are many cars. Okay. There are many cars. Also, I can say that in my neighborhood, there is much noise. Okay. Noise. If you see, uh, in this case, because cars is countable, I can make it plural. Okay. But in the case of noise, okay, that is not countable. So in that case, I need to make it only in singular. Can you tell me another example using many or much? Mm -hmm. Yes. There are, there are many cafeterias. Okay, there are many cafeterias. What about much? There is much traffic. Okay, perfect. Okay. There is much traffic. Okay, perfect. So that is about a quantity. Okay. Um, so in this case, we can say many, but in the other side, we can say there are many. There are many what? There are many church. churches. Okay, churches. Churches. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're going to use, yeah, we're going to use, uh, we're going to use uh, churches with this, okay? A lot, okay? A lot. A lot means uh, an exaggerated amount, okay? That is like too much, okay? They are a lot. That is a big, big quantity, okay? For example, you can say, in my neighborhood, there are a lot of churches. Okay, churches, okay. Now, in also in, in, in singular or with uncountable nouns, I can use a lot, okay, that's not a problem. But I am, I'm going to say that in singular, okay. For example, in downtown, there is a lot of smoke, okay. In downtown, there is a lot of smoke. I can use a lot with countable, and I can use it also with uncountable, okay? Can you tell me another example using the two of them? There are a lot of buses in the city. Ah, okay, there are a lot of buses in the city. What about a lot in using uncountable? There is a lot of noise in my neighborhood. Ah, okay. There is a lot of noise every day and every night. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so it's like impossible, okay, to live. Impossible. Yeah. impossible to live there. Okay. Perfect. Okay. The next one. We're going to see another one. A few and a little. Okay. This is the opposite. A lot is a big quantity. A few is like a, a few or a little, okay? For example, uh, there are a few, uh, there are a few grocery stores, okay? In my, neighbor, in, in, in my neighborhood, okay? And there is a little noise, okay? In my neighborhood, okay? There is a little noise my neighborhood. So if you see, we cannot say a few noise. No, okay, a few is only for countable, okay? Only for countable nouns, All right? Can you tell me an example? For example, in my, in my colony, there are a few trees. Ah, okay. There are a few trees, perfect. Okay. And there is a little park, parking off. There is a little parking? Yes. Okay, perfect, okay, parking. Mm -hmm. All right, perfect. The next one, we're going to learn how to use any, okay, any. Remember that any, we can use it for questions, okay? Like in the questions that I gave you, are there any pupuserias in your, um, in your city or in your neighborhood, okay? You can use any for 
uh, questions and also you can use it for negative, okay? You can use any for the two cases. You can use it for questions and also for um, negative sentences. For example, there isn't any cinema in my neighborhood, okay? There isn't any cinema. Now, what about um, uncountable? There isn't any crime, okay? There isn't any crime. What about you? Can you tell me an example? It can be isn't uh, any or aren't any if it's plural. There isn't any drugstore. Okay, mm. there isn't any drugstore in my neighborhood, okay? Mm -hmm. Oops, drugstore in my neighborhood. What about there is, using uncountable? For example, in my neighborhood, there mm -hmm. isn't in any police station ah, okay, on but, any police office. Ah, in that case, it will be uh, countable, okay? Police officers. What you can say is there isn't any security. Okay, any security. Uh-huh, uh -huh, any security, okay? Because police officers, yes, they are countable. We can have five police officers or one police okay. station, okay? But uh, security, yes, security is uh, uncountable, okay? Mm -hmm. okay? Perfect. And the last one, none, okay? None, as a pronunciation, none, okay? None. none. So uh, this is basically for an answer, okay? For example, if I tell you, um, how many, how many police stations are there in your neighborhood? You can say, there aren't none, okay? There aren't none, okay? There aren't none, or there are none, okay? There are none, okay? Um, how much pollution is, is it in your neighborhood? Ah. There isn't none or there is none, okay? So that also means zero, okay? Zero. Mm -hmm. So that is the pronunciation, none, okay? None. So these are the different uh, quantifiers that we can use, okay? Many, much. A lot, a lot. A few, a little. Isn't any, aren't any, and none, okay? Also, you can make a question. How many and how much? How many is exclusive for um, countable nouns, and much is exclusive for uncountable nouns, okay? So we're going to, uh, I'm gonna ask some questions to you. For example, how many, cars are there in your neighborhood how many cars are there in your neighborhood you can you cannot tell me the number okay because you cannot count okay one two three you're not you're not going to finish okay so you can tell me ah teacher there are a lot of cars there is there are a few cars there are many cars okay there isn't any car, okay? There are none cars, okay? Or there are none. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to change it. How many motorcycles? How many motorcycles? Let's see. Um, Saida, how many motorcycles are there in your neighborhood? Five motorcycles. Five motorcycles, okay. Perfect, okay. Or you can say there are a few motorcycles, oh. uh -huh. mm -hmm. or there are many motorcycles, okay? That's all up to you. Let's see, thank you. Um, how many, um, how many, let's see. Dogs. Oops. Oh. 
Let's see, Josue. How many pupusterias are there in your neighborhood? Uh, there, there are a few pupusterias. Ah, there are a few. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah, great. Okay. Another one. Now I'm going to ask with much. How much security is there in your neighborhood? Let's see, Anna. No, no, sorry. You, you, you told me already. Let's see, Pedro. <laughs> Pedro, how much security is there in your neighborhood? There are none. There are none. Oh well, in this there, case, in this is case, no. security is with is <laughs> singular. Uh huh. Uh -huh. So security is singular. So what is the answer? There is none. There is none. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. The next one. I'm going to change it. How much pollution is there in the country? Okay, not in your neighborhood, now the country. Let's see, Ivania. How much pollution is there in the country? Uh, there, are, there is a lot. There is a lot, okay, yeah. There is a lot of pollution in the country, okay? Perfect. Now you ask me, okay? You can ask me about uh, my neighborhood or you can ask me about the country, okay? And I'm going to answer. You can ask with how many or how much. If you, if you use how, how many, you need to make sure that the object or the place is uh, singular or plural, okay? But if you tell me how much, it's only singular. Mm -hmm. Anybody? Yeah. Teacher, how yeah. many drugstore are there in your neighborhood? Um, there are a few drugstores uh -huh, in my neighborhood. Okay. Thank you. Josue, you wanted to ask something? Yes, teacher. Uh -huh. how, uh, how many uh, soccer fields uh, are in your neighborhood? Ah, mm, there is there is one soccer field in my neighborhood. Mm -hmm. Another person? Yeah, thank you. It can be how many or how much? Teacher, how uh -huh. many uh, pizzeria are there in your neighborhood? Ah, pizzerias. Uh, there is one. There is one pizzeria in my neighborhood. Mm -hmm. But it's not that good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I prefer Pollo Campero's pizza. <laughs> well, telepizza. <laughs> okay, another person? How much or how many? How much? How much uh, safety in your uh, in, in the home? In my home? In my house? In your house. Ah, um, almost safety. How much safety? Safety. 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 How uh -huh. much safety uh, is there in your home? The rest or uh -huh. the connection rest? Ah, um, I will say there is much safety in the house. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there is much Don't safety. Have you don't have hacker near. <laughs> <laughs> no, we the, the 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 house is very secure. Yeah, we it's not that easy to to jump in the house. <laughs> okay, the last question. The last question. Uh -huh. How much or how many? How many police stations? Are there in your neighborhood? Uh, there are none. Mm -hmm. There are none. Okay. There is, I think there are two in the, in, the, in the town, okay, or in the city. But in my neighborhood, there are none. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm in danger. <laughs> okay. Okay. How yeah. many supermarkets are there in your neighborhood? Ah, supermarkets. 
Uh, there is only one. There is only one supermarket. Mm -hmm. There is only one supermarket. All right. Perfect. Okay. So, any questions about using much, many, a lot, a few, a little? I know that it's, I mean, it is very common to use it with food, right? You know, like uh, a few yeah. apples, okay? A little really? sugar, a little milk. <laughs> But also we can use this uh, in the city, okay? We can also use it in the city. We just need to think uh, if it's singular or plural, and if it's uncountable, it's always uh, singular, okay? So uh, with this class, you can do uh, the whole activity or the whole uh, section number three, okay? And on the next week, we're going to start section number four, okay? So okay. over the weekend, over the weekend, maybe you can work a little bit more uh, on the platform, okay? So that you can uh, finish section number three. Remember that after section number three, you have an exam, okay? So it is important that you take some time to do the exam in your house, okay? Because the exam mm -hmm. has like three or four parts, I think, I don't remember right now, but yeah, there are some parts that you need to do, okay? So take your time, do it relaxed. Remember that if you make a mistake, you can do it again and again and again, okay? That's not a problem. But if you have problems, uh, send us a message on WhatsApp and we are going to help you, okay? Okay. All right, guys, uh, have a good night. Have a, an amazing weekend. And I hope to see you next week. Okay. okay thank you. Enjoy your week. Okay, teacher. Bye bye. bye. See you bye. next Monday. Bye. Bye. Good bye. Night. Good night, everybody.